Hey Kinder Elm, welcome to a brand new week of e-learning. It's Monday today and it marks our 8th week of e-learning. Have you ever wondered if there is a place similar to the outer scene? Hmm. Could it be your room? Or your kitchen? Or your restroom? or the living room. <laughs> Let's find out in the story. Our story for today is There's No Other Place Like Space by Tish Rabe. Have fun reading! This is the book There's No Place Like Space all about our solar system. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars. And in case you missed them, you'll soon see. The planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus. Really, really hot. Nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is the third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time round and round like a top and turns every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, cause we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light, who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see a big picture we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small, like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it, the star called the sun. From the earth it looks big, there is one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute, a million of our earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time, we must go very soon. But first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a mirror, it reflects the sun's light. 
astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing 2 wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new.